Why do men seek status? We want the Lamborghini because it's a cool car. More importantly, we want the Lamborghini because we want everyone to know that we have a Lamborghini and that they can't have one. I'm a 26 year old male, highly driven, big goals, wants to make a lot of money. So I went down a rabbit hole this weekend trying to learn why am I hardwired the way I am? And considering 90% of you who watch this channel are males between 18 and 34, I think you would also find it interesting and value to understand why do you want the things you want? 10% of you who watch this channel are female, so it also may be helpful to you to understand why do guys do what they do. Watch until the end because I will be connecting the scientific findings back to your career and providing you with a few actionable insights that you can deploy today to find more success sooner rather than later. Look, men are biologically programmed to seek status. High status males associates with higher fertility, living offspring. This means you have access to better mate quality, more mates, more resources and trading partners, greater deference from enemies. This is when it really starts to get interesting. Everyone wants clout. Everyone likes to post on Instagram, look how cool my life is, look what I'm doing. You admire the celebrities that you think are doing cool things. And the reason that is, is because we want community-wide influence, prestige. Social status can be defined as access to contested resources within a social group. The reason this matters is that community-wide influence is tied to income. The more clout you have, the more followers you have, the more money you can make, as you see, generosity and support from allies. And the reason that this matters is that men who can recruit more allies during a conflict are capable of inflicting cost via derived dominance. So what that means is if you have leader A, and everyone's following leader A and you have leader B with less followers, leader A would be able to galvanize more people so that that cohort of people would be stronger than leader B. And that's why we admire these people with all the followers because evolutionarily you say, oh wow, they have access to more, re more resources in a contested setting. Um, therefore, I respect them, I follow them, I wanna buy their merch, I wanna buy their perfume, I wanna buy everything they're telling me because they have the community-wide influence. How does higher social status lead to more surviving offspring? Before I put up this chart, subscribe to the channel now if you haven't already. For high status men to produce more surviving offspring, their social status must increase fertility, reduce childhood morality, or accomplish both. Take a look at this chart and I'm gonna talk through it now. Higher status men have higher fertility. Offspring of higher status men experience lower childhood mortality. Higher status men have more extramarital affairs, especially for dominant men. Higher status men marry at earlier ages and have more wives, especially for prestigious men. Higher status men marry women who are younger, have higher BMIs, start reproducing early, and who are rated as more attractive by community members. Higher status men marry women who are more hardworking and who spend relatively more time in productive and parenting activities. Higher status men, especially those who are prestigious, recruit more cooperative partners with respect to political alliances, food production, and food sharing. Higher status men, especially those who are dominant, are accorded more deference from community members. I told you I'm gonna bring this message back to your career and this is what it means to you right now today. As you think about how do I get higher status, that is the outcome you are after. As we think about reverse engineering that formula, it starts with learning. It starts with watching videos like this one. It starts with recognizing that anything you ever need to learn to achieve your wildest dreams is on the internet for free available to you right now or has been written in a book somewhere. So you have the capability to learn. You have a growth mindset. Once you learn the information you need to know, that then leads to productivity gains. Productivity gains means you're more efficient in your job. You have more potential knowledge that can be deployed to achieve whatever you wanna do. Those productivity gains will result in increased confidence and better performance ultimately, like we talked about, resulting in promotions, more money, success, all these accolades you're after. You don't care about my sales training that I talk about in these videos. Maybe you just like listening to me, maybe you find it uh, entertaining, educational, informative. You care about the sales training because as a result, of performing better in your sales job, you naturally will have higher status, 
perform better, make more money, access to better mates, more fertility, more living offspring. So when you get these things, money, the Lamborghinis, the private jets, that then increases your perceived social status, which then gives you access to more mates, higher quality mates, more resources in a contested setting, more deference from competitors, and ultimately more community-wide influence and prestige. And that is how we are wired as males. That is what we want. That is what we are after. As I think about what this means for my own life, I think one of the existential questions is, what is the purpose of life? Why are we here? What are we doing? I've been immersed in a Ray Dalio book. I, I read his Principles book. Now I'm reading The Changing World Order. And Ray talks about evolution being the most powerful driving force in human nature. The reason we are here as humans are to reproduce offspring and leave them better off than when we first started. So the better we can become, the more successful we can become, the better equipped we will be able to do that. So all we can really do is pass on our DNA to continue our lineage. As we think about the money, the money in and of itself doesn't really matter. And I actually was just learning about money. I wanna talk about what money is for a second because I think so many of us as driven males seeking high status want a lot of money. And I think a lot of people are interested in cryptocurrency as well. So what is money? Ray Dalio defines money as being a medium of exchange in a storehold of wealth. A medium of exchange is something that we all widely agree has value and that I can exchange in return for your product, goods, or services. So let's say I start a course. You say, Trent, I like your stuff. I will give you money in exchange for your course. It's a medium of exchange. And the reason that this is important is the old system was a bartering system. So rather than having um, a universally agreed upon item of value, money, cash, USD, it would be, hey, in order to buy your course, I will exchange to you a foam roller to roll out, roll your muscles. And I would say, well, I don't think that's of equal value or greater. I don't want to do it. So medium of exchange and then a storehold of wealth or value. What this means is buying power. So as we think about other storeholds of wealth, it could be real estate, stocks. Um, there's a lot of assets out there, paintings, and ultimately cash, money, storehold is buying power. So the more money you have, the more buying power you have, the larger storehold of wealth to then deploy to human capital, um, actual assets, hard assets, productive assets. And that's what the purpose of money is. And the conclusion here, the insight is that I want a lot of money. You probably want a lot of money. And the reason we want a lot of money is so that we can have higher status to ultimately drive us forward evolutionarily. That's all that we're doing it. At the same time, we are everything in our own worlds. If you think about your problems, you're like, my problems are bigger than everyone else. But at the same time, we're nothing. So putting that in perspective, enjoyed it. Uh, let's try and get better. I don't always like doing self-development, um, but I recognize in order to get better, I need to do it to start that chain reaction, learning, productivity gains, more promotions, more money, higher social status. If you enjoyed today's video, hit the like button below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Plenty more videos in the way just like this. We are close to releasing the podcast. Believe me, guys, I've been hard at work at it this weekend. Really appreciate your support. I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.